Now it's time to start animating the menu. So what we want is to for the menu to slide to the right whenever we click the menu button here and we want it to slide back to its original place whenever we click it again. First thing I'm going to do is I've noticed that I've set the registration point of the menu at the center. Actually what I want it to be is in the upper left. So I'm going to get inside the menu, select everything inside it and then move it like so. Okay, go back to scene one, set the menu back to its original place and now its registration point is in the upper left. Next is I need to create a separate layer for the menu's action script. Call it menu action. The reason of that is, well, what we've done with the home page is this action script is only valid for the home page. We want different action script on the web view page. We should do that as well here. And different action script on the YouTube page. So for this action, for the action script of the pages, we actually need to convert these frames into keyframes so that we can add different action script for each separate page. While for the menu, we want the same action script to run for all of the pages. For, what, for whatever the page you're on, when you click on the menu button, the menu will slide to the right as it would do in the home page, in the Swift page, or in the YouTube page. And whenever you click on any of these buttons, or whenever you click back on the home page, you will navigate to the clicked uh, button and then the menu will slide back. So the code is the same for all the pages regarding the menu. So we'll add a single layer for the menu's action script and we'll keep a single keyframe on this layer. First we've added instance names. We haven't added yet instance names for these buttons. So we'll call this one home underscore button and this one will be swiv for stage web view underscore button and this one will be youtube underscore button again similarly this one will be facebook underscore button twitter underscore button and I've misspelled Twitter. Last but not least, Google underscore button. Okay. Now we'll give this an instance name of menu and this an instance name of menu underscore button. Okay, now let's click the first layer in the menu's action script panel and open up our actions panel. I'm going to minimize this or minimize it like this. We need it. And now the way to animate the menu is I'm going to use timers first. So I'm going to declare a variable which is going to be a timer that will animate the menu. And then this button will activate the timer, allowing the menu to slide left and right. So variable, we'll call it menu timer, let's type timer, equal to new timer. We'll make it fire off every 10 milliseconds. Next, we need to add an event listener for this timer. So menu timer add event listener we a timer event dot timer and the function will be called uh, animate or let it be slide menu and let's add an event listener for the menu button menu underscore button 
dot add event listener mouse event dot click and let's call the function open close menu okay first what the open close menu function does it's uh, is it starts the timer so function open close close with lowercase l menu menu has an event variable of mouse event call and void and all what this does is menu and you timer dot start okay next let's uh, define the function slide menu function slide menu has an event variable of timer event call and void and next we need to start thinking how to slide the menu so we have that the first registration point of the menu is in the upper left so whenever the menu is right where we want it which is about here then its x position is zero so this is how we can detect that the menu has reached its uh, extremity the, the highest or the furthest point it can go but what would make my code know whether if it's opening the menu or closing it so let's say my menu is open now but what will make my code know if I want to open or close the menu so let's say I've clicked the menu button now so the menu will slide this way okay now I need to close the menu let's say I've clicked it again it will slide this way keep sliding until it reach the number of specific number of pixels I've told it to go to that's not what I wanted to do so what we're gonna do here is define a boolean remember booleans can take the value of true or false we'll set this boolean to false at first so false means the menu hasn't been opened yet so whenever we click the menu button it automatically will start sliding and it, when it reaches this point it will set the menu boolean to true so whenever we click it again it's first gonna check if the menu boolean is true or false if it's true then it's going to slide the same number of pixels but in the other direction now so again just to recap we're gonna define a boolean if it's true or if it's false then the uh, menu will slide to the right or it will open and if it's true then whenever we click the menu button the menu is gonna slide to the left so let's get to it define a new variable variable we'll call it menu boolean okay boolean with double O it's of type boolean equal to false or equals false by default so inside the function slide menu first we're gonna check is the menu boolean equal to false or true so if menu boolean you know let's call it bool so if menu bool is equal to false then we want to slide the menu to the right so if menu boolean is equal to false we're gonna do what we're gonna do is to say menu dot x plus equals um, 20 and again if menu dot x was greater than 
0 then we want to set the menu dot x equal to 0 and then we want to stop the menu timer menu timer dot stop and set the menu boolean or the menu bool equal to true so this is if the menu boolean is false then this is the sliding right action that's when we open up the menu so else if menu bool is equal to true then we want the menu dot x minus equals 20 and if menu dot x is less than menu dot width that is if the menu has reached this point and went further okay then we will set menu dot x equal to menu dot width then we'll say menu timer dot stop and again menu bool equal to false so this should be it let's go ahead and test it and what just happened let's try it again okay that's weird so if menu boolean is equal to true menu dot x minus equals 20 oh uh, there's the there's an error here this should be minus because the x position currently is in the negative and this should be minus also because right now the x is in the negative so if we we want it to stop whenever it reaches minus the width of the menu so that should do it hopefully let's test it again okay it works perfectly